<coughs> isn't life great? You start the session and the first game you get is against Olegas. Okay, so what is his rating? 2519. Going to play. We're going to play one of his games, yeah? Those games where nothing ever happens. Oh, we go C5. This is, this is a new idea. This is, I guess, new for him. Usually it goes with knight bd7, but this is um, also, yeah, not uh, a very exciting position, but uh, we know the deal. So yeah, maybe go here to avoid the early bishop g4, making things even more, yeah, more unexciting. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. A while ago, I really changed my approach to the games against him. I just uh, now play. I mean, he he has, he plays this very um, simplifying kind of game, and I just uh, don't try to do anything fancy. Just try to be quick, not lose on time, and uh, it will become a draw in most cases. So I don't mind getting a couple of rating points. The real um, issue is that um, I have problems with his openings. Uh, I have a hard time to find anything or get anything um, yeah, remotely exciting against what he's playing. <laughs> it's just that he's got that super solid repertoire and I have nothing great. So I always get this kind of sterile, sterile, whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Those kind of position where nothing happens. I'm trying for bishop a6 now. He will probably go back to c5. I assume. No. Hmm. I can go b4 here. Yeah? It's not... Nothing bad about it. Okay. Hmm. Does this have a drawback? It might, yeah. Like takes, takes, b5. Hmm. Yeah, might be, might be. Okay, I can still strengthen my position a little bit and see what he's doing. Not sure that this was such a such a great idea. I mean, it doesn't harm harm my position, but it also doesn't lead to anything great. Yeah, not much going on. But we, we know that, yeah. <laughs> we know this kind of game. Yeah, here I'm actually somewhat better. Because rook c7 is, uh, is in the mix. So what happens here? Rook c7, he goes rook d7. Okay, I think I can improve a little bit first. f3, king f2, and then see what happens. Maybe I can go here and then and then rook c7. Have an eye on that pawn. Yeah, but bishop c8, right? Mr. Oligas, what's now? Black resigns. Okay, so that's 21 points instead of the points for a draw. Uh, he rarely plays those kind of blunders. He really rarely does. He's a very, very, um, yeah, very blunder-free player usually. And here it happened to him. Yeah, the position was rather uncomfortable. I mean, I just, I was just happy with this kind of simple, simplified position, where it's very tough to lose if you play quickly, 
and this is what I tried. Yeah, I was ahead on the clock the whole time. Um, yeah, it's it's rather white, who's a little bit more comfortable against the IQP, even though black, um, yeah, shouldn't lose. He he tried some things that are not really helping. I think rook c5, for example. This this probably doesn't help. G3, hmm, not sure. Also weakened the light squares a little bit, but I wanted some luft for my king. Yeah, he went queen e5. Hmm, okay, and now I went bishop a6. And I, I doubt that what he did now is good. That simplification here. This I'm, I'm not sure about. Maybe he can improve now, but this really feels quite uncomfortable. Okay, the engine wants to go look to e8. He played this, which seems, um, I don't know. Yeah, rook e8 is what the engine plays. Let, let's try to understand the point. If I go rook here, he has bishop h3. Yeah, okay, this is, this is really not good, right? So I'm not going to do this. King g2 or bishop d3. I think bishop d3 is quite, and then he's got rook c8. Okay, this is the thing, yeah. He's, he has these ideas and um, something like this is the normal looking move in a way, but he can try to trade with this or can put the bishop here. Yeah, this is, this is okay. This is okay for him. I can also go up with the king. Yeah, currently this is not such a big deal. This is annoying still. Yeah. This is better though than the than the game continuation, I think here. It's really uncomfortable. Yeah, this and now it's not so easy for him. Really not. This and I went bishop b7. Yeah, the idea was that after rook c7, a coming rook c7, uh, I mean this is also attacked, so that he cannot play rook d7. I wasn't quite sure what his move um, should be. The computer wants to play bishop d3, and then again this rook c7 is happening. Yeah, this is what the engine wants to wants to play. Defend the pawn like that. If I go rook, if I go here now, ah, rook d6 is the computer move. Yeah, it looks very uncomfortable, but maybe it's just just about enough to hold yeah it's it's not fun for black not at all but uh, probably he should hold I don't know <laughs> this is kind of a, a really torture position yeah, anyway, I'm glad to have won this game. My score still is absolutely terrible against him. But uh, recently, um, I think it was kind of okay. I played many draws, now I won a game. It's, it's, it gets better. Okay, thanks for watching.